Tanse, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to sort and cut and shape dentilium shells um, so that you can make your own dentilium shell earrings, capes, jewelry, necklaces, whatever it is that you're going to be doing. Um, I've had a few inboxes and requests um, how to do this, how do I do this. Um, so I'm going to be sharing a little bit of my process. Um, so first I start off by sorting my bag of dentilium shells. So this is a half pound bag that I got from uh, Old Wild West Gallery in Wetaskiwin. And I never sorted through this bag yet. This is a new bag. So I'm going to be going through that with you guys. Um, so first, I'm just going to dump out the whole bag. And then what I usually do is I start picking out the longest pieces and then working from there. So I'll take out the really big guys and the, these ones aren't as big so they'll get their own little pile and I'll start finding pieces that are kind of same size. And I'll just start lining them all up together. So I'm not going to sort the whole bag right now. But just for this sake of the video. I'm just going to show you a little bit of what I do. So if I'm going to be making one pair of earrings. Mine I usually like to put um, rows of five. So and then what I usually like to do is put... Um, the longest ones at the bottom and kind of like a little bit smaller length in the middle and then a short length at the top. That way I'm not using all of my long shells all up at once and I can kind of space them out um, through earrings. So I would need to find um, like 10 small ones. 10 medium ones and 10 larger ones and just kind of put them in their rows. So say if I do five up here and then five in the middle. This one's kind of wonky, so I'm not gonna use that one. Oh, there we go. Five and then say these five at the bottom but I'm not going to use these five at the bottom because these ones are really long so I'm actually going to want to save these really really long ones for maybe another project okay so through trial and error I figured out what I like to use when working with these guys um, in the past I've used a nail file. Um, I still use this now but just not as much as I used to. This is just when I kind of need to um, file off a little bit more extra. Uh, this is a nail clipper. You can use a nail clipper. Um, scissors. I don't really like to use them but I mean I have used them in the past. And this is a pair of wire cutter pliers and what I use now is a handheld Dremel um, so my dad was actually the one who gave me this and so I, I don't really know <laughs> where you buy it I'm sure just a, a hardware store or whatever and there's there's different versions of um, Dremels there's uh, corded Dremels and um, I think maybe some sort of air pressure Dremel um, but this is just a handheld with um, a battery pack and I just charge it with this charger when the battery dies out um, and there's different um, heads and components that you can you can change on the Dremel um, 
lately I've been using this one for sanding and there's also this guy and these are just like a fine grit sanding you don't uh, need something really coarse because the shells are pretty delicate so what I'm gonna do is what I do first is kind of find like the shortest one out of this bunch and then which is this guy and then at the bottom of each shell like it's kind of um it's uneven and jagged so what I'll do is I'm going to take my Dremel and then I'm just going to like sand, start sanding the bottom so it's nice and even and flat. And so now it's nice and flat and sanded and I could even do that um, at the top as well because even the top can be a little bit sharp and I don't want it to cut through my thread so I'm going to do that too. That was a high setting. I'm going to do a low setting this time. Oops. Okay so this is the size that I'm going to make all 10 of the top shells so I'm going to start measuring shells against this guy. And instead of cutting um, the bottom of the shell, what I'll actually do is I'll measure it and then I'll take my um, wire cutter pliers and then I'll clip off the top, the smaller portion. So that's kind of nice and straight there. And then I'll take my Dremel and I'll just even it out. I have two that are the same size and I find this is way faster than what I was doing in the past and um, kind of similar process but using a nail clipper and sizing it up clipping the top with a nail clipper and then at the bottom this really rigid part I would sand it with a nail file and that would take really long. So, you know, using um, better tools, faster techniques, it definitely speeds up the process and makes it a little bit more enjoyable <laughs> to do this. Um, so, yeah. Um, one of the things that you can use for your spreaders for earrings or hair tail hair ties or chokers um i like to use rawhide not rawhide sorry i like to use um hand tanned moose hide so this is a pretty thick piece and i just kind of use up my scraps and um i just cut thin little strips and i can make my own um dentilium shell spacers you can also use leather, like really thick leather, cowhide, or manufactured moose hide or elk hide. Um, you can also use rawhide, or um, you can buy pre-made leather spacers from whatever leather store you have available to you. Um, stringing up the dentilium shells, that will probably be saved for another video. But um, this is just a quick little tutorial of how to sort them and cut them and shape them. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment or send me a message. Happy beating. <laughs>